Welcome to all of you on my channel. Think Future Academy, today we will learn about the how procurement role and rights. Play their part for value addition in supply chain. In this video we will understand the procurement rights and their impact on supply chain value additions. First we will understand the role of procurement. The procurement function's objective in any organization is to produce value for money, VFM, for organization by acquiring goods and services, resulting in enhanced profitability. This is accomplished by lowering total cost of ownership, as well as risks of inferior quality, lower volumes and late delivery. Choosing correct sourcing strategy and negotiating effectively are critical to achieving these objectives. Procurement function improves customer service by meeting demand on time through a sustainable supply chain while also adhering to norms and regulations. Now we will see the importance of triple bottom line, TBL, or sustainability in supply chain. The importance is based on the vital role of triple bottom line known as sustainability, which was introduced by John Elkington in 1994. This theory consists of three PS which are people, planet and profit. This theory focuses on social, environment and profits. There is no standard method of calculation of triple bottom line. Next point is Corporate Social Responsibility, CSR. It's an organization's responsibility to provide CSR for sustainable environment internally and externally. Nowadays organizations are recognizing responsibility towards workplace and environment with emphasis on identification and mitigation of house risks. Under CSR organizations are investing in social initiatives and community development programs to create a positive impact in the lives of people, society and the environment like, happy winter, bag for life, have a healthy day, food boxes. Corporate social responsibility is all about organizations playing their responsible part in society and giving back to society, and a big part of that is fundraising for worthy causes. Companies, customers, and communities can and should thrive together. There are three types of corporate social responsibility. Number 1. Environmental corporate social responsibility. Number 2. Ethical corporate social responsibility. And number 3. Philanthropic corporate social responsibility. Every responsibility have their own impact. Supply chain management is the regulation of commodities and services via effective supply chain planning, design, execution, control, and monitoring. Supply chain and logistics management is obviously important for every firm working in a variety of industries. The following two table are available on different website and books showing below the five rights and seven rights. The five rights are Right quality Right quantity Right place Right time. Right price. The seven rights. Right quality. Right quantity. Right place. Right time. Right price. Right customer. Right product. You can see here that first five rights are common in both the categories, the two additional are right customer and right product. Today I am going to present you the 26 rights of procurement which can help to enhance supply chain process, more rights can be added. Because the supply chain's major goal is to meet demand, increase customer satisfaction, enhance responsiveness, promote financial success, and create a strong network. The basic aims of effective supply chain management should be faster delivery, more efficiency, and increased cash flow. A supply chain encompasses everything, person, and action required for all purposes, from acquiring raw materials to delivering completed items to clients. When a consumer places an order for an item, it must be delivered as requested. With so many organizations for the same set of customers, it is vital to live up to their expectations. This is where supply chain management, SCM, comes into play and add value. To understand the rights in more details, we must look at 26 rights of procurements each component in detail. Now we will see the overview of 26 rights and in next slides I will give you the brief about each right. Number 1 is right quality. Second right quantity. Third right place. Fourth right time. Fifth right price. 
6th right product or service. 7 right warranty. 8 right innovation. 9 right CSR. 10 right sustainability. 11 right ethics. 12 right supplier support. 13 right risk management. 14 right financial stability. 15 right commitment to continuous improvement. 16 right technology. 17 right contractual terms. 18 right payment terms. 19 right payment. 20 right reputation. 21 right experience. 22 right agility. 23 right convenience. 24 right safety practices. 25 right compliance. And number 26. Right country. Number 1. Right quality. This right can also keep its name, although the widespread adoption of newer quality programs like Six Sigma, Lean, and Lean Six Sigma have raised the bar for what the right quality is. The term right quality refers to a suitability of an item for the purpose it is required. For producing the goods of best quality, the best grade of raw material may be the right quality whereas for producing items of medium quality, the average lowest grade may be the right quality. Obtaining goods which are of satisfactory quality and fit for their purpose, suited to internal and external customers' needs, by Accurate specification of requirements and quality standards Supplier and buyer side quality management If the right quality is not achieved, stock may have to be rejected or scrapped. Production machinery may be damaged. Finished products may be defective and have to be scrapped or reworked. Defective products may reach customers, resulting in recalls, returns, compensation claims, lost goodwill, damaged reputation. The firm will incur high costs. 2. Right Quantity What's right about quantity is now beyond simply ensuring that the number of items in a box matches the packing slip. Today's suppliers can help you optimize inventory levels, work towards lead time reductions, and do other things that help you not buy more than you need to. Obtaining goods in sufficient quantity to meet demand and maintain service levels while minimizing excess stock holding, which incurs costs and risks, by Demand Forecasting Inventory Management Stock Replenishment Systems If the right quantity is not achieved, insufficient stock may be held to meet demand. Stockouts may cause bottlenecks or shutdowns in production, costs of idle time, late delivery to customers, lost credibility, goodwill, and sales. Excess stock may be ordered and slash or held, tying up capital in idle stock, wasting storage space, risking deterioration, theft, or damage, risking obsolescence or disuse, incurring holding costs. 3. Right Place the fact that the product or service must be supplied where it is required keeps the designation of this right relevant. Modern supply chain design, on the other hand, makes use of central warehouses, distribution hubs and dropship destinations all over the world, necessitating increased logistical expertise. Having goods delivered to the appropriate delivery point, packaged, and transported in such a way as to secure their safe arrival in good condition, by Distribution planning. Transport planning. Packaging. If the right place is not achieved, goods may be delivered to the wrong place, creating delay and correction costs. Goods may be subject to unnecessary transport and handling, and related costs. Goods may be damaged, contaminated, or stolen in transit. Transport may cause unnecessary environmental damage. For right time. Originally known as right time, this right referred to receiving a product or service when you want it. Today, various alternatives to the traditional delivery model, including as consignment, integrated supply, vendor-held inventory, just-in-time, and other activities, need more current supplier flexibility than just completing a purchase order, PO, deadline. Securing delivery of goods at the right time to meet demand but not so early as to incur unnecessary inventory costs, by Demand Management Supplier Management If the right time is not achieved, goods may be too late, causing production bottlenecks, 
and associated costs, and slash or delays in delivery to customers, with costs of damages, lost business. Goods may be too early, causing undue risks and costs of holding inventory. 5. Right Price The initial label of correct price is no longer adequate since complicated purchase decisions are based on whole cost or value rather than price, which is simply one component of total cost. Total cost and value differ from one product to the next, from one service to the next, and from one supplier to the next. As a result, the cheapest product or service isn't always the one with the lowest total cost or most value. Securing all of the above at a price which is reasonable, fair, competitive, and affordable. Ideally, minimizing procurement costs in order to maximize profit, by Price Analysis Supplier Cost Analysis Competitive Pricing and Negotiation If the right price is not achieved, suppliers will be free to charge what they like, without checking. Suppliers' profit margins will be squeezed unfairly, leading to insecurity of supply. Materials and supply costs will rise. Profits will fall or prices charged to customers will have to rise, losing sales. There will be less profit to motivate shareholders and reinvest in the business. 6. Right Product or Service The initial label of correct price is no longer adequate since complicated purchase decisions are based on whole cost or value rather than price, which is simply one component of total cost. Total cost and value differ from one product to the next, from one service to the next, and from one supplier to the next. As a result, the cheapest product or service isn't always the one with the lowest total cost or most value. There are different types of product, differentiated product, customized product, potential product, core product, actual product, and augmented product. We must understand the few questions for selection of right product where which are. Number 1, will the product sell in the market? Number 2, can it be sold on profit? Number 3, what type of skill and experience required for selling? 7. Right Warranty As organizations increasingly focus on lifetime costs and cradle-to-grave value, receiving a product that works upon delivery is no longer sufficient, you must now have guarantees that the products or services you purchase will serve your company for the long term. For all major purchases, you should obtain the best warranty possible. A warranty is a legally enforceable promise included in a sales-slash-purchase contract that ensures the seller-slash-buyer that the goods or service is defect-free. A right warranty frequently specifies a specific remedy, such as repair or replacement, in the case that the object or service fails to satisfy the guarantee's requirements. 8. Right Innovation Almost every company wishes to get a competitive advantage. As a result, you must turn to your supplier base for creative ideas that will provide your firm with a distinct value offer that competitors cannot duplicate. 9. Right CSR Today's organizations try to direct percentages of their spend to diversity suppliers, local suppliers, small businesses, and other classes of suppliers in order to compensate for past societal inequities, broaden their appeal to certain demographic segments of their client bases, and slash or improve their public image. You must guarantee that these underserved populations are given the chances they deserve. 10. Right Sustainability By ensuring that their supply chains are environmentally sustainable, businesses may gain a competitive edge or alleviate customer worries. As a result, you are required to choose suppliers and goods that embrace recycling, minimize deforestation, care for animal welfare, cultural sensitivity, and use other techniques of maintaining environmental components. 11. Right Ethics As a purchasing expert, you are required to operate ethically and should expect your suppliers to do the same. Whether it's adhering to no backdoor selling policies or refusing to participate in international transactions that may be considered bribery in their customers' countries, you must hold your suppliers to a high standard of respectability so that your organization is not associated with unethical behavior. 12. Right Supplier Support your internal customers expect your providers to show up when needed. This might imply providing a 24x7 contact center, on-site help, or any other sort of on-demand support. 
having operational challenges that are extended owing to insufficient or unavailable supplier assistance might harm your reputation with internal customers. 13. Right Risk Management Force suppliers used to claim force majeure as an excuse for failing to comply. Not any longer. Great suppliers should have risk management methods in place that allow them to recover rapidly from such disasters. For all significant purchases, you should assess a prospective supplier's risk management plan. 14. Right Financial Stability Being badly impacted by a supplier's seemingly abrupt downsizing or insolvency is typically avoidable if you have a good understanding of finance and check a supplier's financial statements before committing to a significant agreement. 15. Right Commitment to Continuous Improvement The world is always changing. In business, it appears that rivalry is becoming increasingly tough. As a result, firms must constantly develop in order to retain their current level of performance. Suppliers must always improve in order for a business to attain optimum improvement. As a result, you should look for suppliers who have a proven track record and a culture of continuous improvement. 16. Right Technology Technological advancements make doing business more efficient, simple, and cost-effective. If your company is technologically advanced, you must identify suppliers that can work with that technology to maximize productivity. If your company is falling behind in terms of technology, you may identify providers that can help you catch up and stay competitive. 17. Right Contractual Terms it is excellent if your suppliers just accept your company's usual contractual conditions. Unfortunately, some suppliers will refuse to agree to certain conditions as they are, and adjustments to certain of those terms, such as indemnification, limit of responsibility, and so on, might raise the risk that your organization carries. Sometimes one provider's refusal to comply with your contractual conditions is sufficient reason to chose a new supplier. 18. Right Payment Terms If there is a delay in payments, the mode of payment, account transfer, documentary collection, letter of credit, cash in advance, consignment etc., must be specified in the agreement or purchase order payment conditions. 19. Right Payment With borrowing rates so low for years and no upward movement forecast, firms rely on buying specialists more than ever to enhance cash flow. You do this by negotiating longer payment terms and collecting early payment discounts that outperform returns from other cash uses. 20. Right Reputation Suppliers with a terrible reputation have a detrimental impact on public impression of your firm, whether they are involved in a tragic factory fire, a bribery scandal, or other notable scandals. To defend your organization's brand, conduct business with suppliers that are well regarded by the general public. 21. Right Experience Anyone can claim to be able to satisfy a buyer's needs, but a track record of doing so becomes more vital when purchasing more expensive and slash or critical items or services. 22. Right Agility Business and the globe are in perpetual flux. Procurement professionals like you must be adaptable in order to stay up with and capitalize on change. This implies that you'll need suppliers that can modify their products, services, procedures, and so on when business conditions change. 23. Right Convenience Because of the growing speed of business, everyone is attempting to complete tasks as quickly as possible. In the goal of haste, quality can often suffer unacceptably. This necessitates ensuring that the finest option for your internal consumers is also the most convenient one for them. As a result, it's critical to choose providers who make ordering and other operations simple. 24. Right Safety Practices Your company most likely has rigorous requirements for employee safety. As a result, you should guarantee that your suppliers adhere to the same high standards. The client is frequently blamed as much as the provider for a safety violation at a supplier's plant. 25. Right Compliance A supplier breach of law such a supplier safety violation, might reflect adversely on your firm, especially if it involves child or slave labor. Furthermore, as a result of illicit behavior in your supply chain, your company might be prosecuted with breaking the law. Assess a supplier's compliance both during the sourcing process and during the supplier relationship. 
26 right country. Low-cost nation sourcing was all the rage a decade ago. Today, global sourcing considers factors other than cost when determining whether a country is the appropriate place for locating suppliers. There are several factors to consider when selecting a nation from which to source, ranging from safety requirements to natural catastrophe vulnerability to political stability and more. I hope you enjoyed this video and before leaving, if you have not already subscribed this channel, make sure to subscribe, like and hit the bell icon to get updates when I post new videos. Provide your feedback in comments. You can download material from the below links under video.